they were able to uh, agree uh, on a so-called uh, fiscal compact that essentially uh, entails a stepped-up uh, surveillance uh, of the budgetary policies of uh, European countries with a stepped-up role for the European Commission in overseeing whether member countries uh, will adhere and will implement uh, the um, uh, commitments that uh, they have taken. These commitments essentially uh, entail uh, running a, a balanced budget or uh, a surplus and uh, uh, reduce the uh, public debt for the high debt countries. Um, uh, differently from the past, this time the sanctions uh, look more credible. Also the mechanism for enforcing this commitment is going to look more credible. And this was uh, certainly, you know, one of the aspects that needs to be, that needed to be taken care of. A second set of uh, outcome uh, has to do with uh, the possibility of uh, um, euro area countries or their agencies to lend to the IMF in order to um, strengthen the IMF's financial firepower and in turn enable the IMF to be a more credible, more effective player in stabilizing the euro area crisis. And this is important because while the first outcome is more uh, medium term, if you will, uh, it's important to establish a firewall around the euro area as uh, an immediate measure. And in fact, the uh, European leaders committed to explore the feasibility of this option within the next 10 days. The um, ESM will uh, be a, a mechanism that uh, is going to uh, uh, provide you know, financial backstop uh, to countries, to euro area countries in uh, in difficulty and will be allowed to operate alongside the EFSF so that the financial capability of these two rescue funds uh, can uh, hopefully uh, you know, impress the markets. The earlier approach with Greece in terms of conditioning financial aid, financial assistance to, the, to some form of debt restructuring uh, was, was a mistake and in fact uh, what they, are, uh, what they have decided on is that uh, uh, any possible uh, private sector engagement or debt restructuring uh, is going to be decided on a case-by-case -case, uh, basis alongside uh, what you know, the IMF usually does uh, in its uh, stabilization programs. So there will not be a presumption of uh, private sector involvement or debt restructuring uh, if uh, uh, a euro area country uh, were to find itself in difficulty and call for financial assistance. This uh, set of uh, outcomes uh, uh, provide some more reassurance to the ECB, which is uh, increasingly regarded, regarded as a sort of third line of defense in, this, uh, in the handling of the euro area crisis, whereby the first line of defense is given by actions and corrective policy measures enacted by national governments of the euro area. The second line of defense would be the financial backstop and the associated conditionality coming through IMF programs. And finally, um, there would be a third line of defense given by uh, the ECB um, mobilizing its uh, unlimited firepower to uh, stabilize any residual uh, uh, systemic pressure on the euro area.